everyone. Uh, my name's Loz a lot. Just or Loz, who whatever you, whatever you want to call me. And um, I've never done one of these before. I've only just this is so sad. I've only just figured out how to work the camera on my computer, and found out that the microphone's actually not that bad. So first one to do. Uh, so. Hello everyone, uh, I'm going to be doing lots of different things on here, like reviewing stuff, like Lush stuff, because I work for Lush, so I get a lot of stuff from Lush, so you'll hear it all here first, all the good stuff, and um, Transformer stuff, because I love Transformers. I like big bots and I cannot lie, you other brothers can't deny, when a bot walks in with a big gun in your face you go BOOM! Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> As you can see, I really do like robots, so. So yeah, robots, toys, uh, lush stuff, cartoons as well, love cartoons movies, possibly. Uh, so yes, I'm just kind of jamming, seeing what's going on, see if anything will happen through this. It's probably just going to be for my own personal amusement, but if you guys like it, then woohoo! <laughs> Yay! Uh, so I got, uh, I got something from the Lush Kitchen uh, recently. I've never bought anything from the Lush Kitchen. I've gotten a few bits from the Lush Kitchen from other people who don't want the stuff they get, and I kind of acquire it from them afterwards. Best one I ever had, unfortunately I don't have any more now because I used it all, it was called Sonic Death Monkey. And now this stuff, it sounds, the name, if the name alone does not sort of make you go, hello, sit up straight and want to know more, uh, Sonic Death Monkey was a shower gel and it smelt like chocolate orange and coffee, so a kind of, yeah, mocha orange coffee. Oh god, it was so nice, so good to kind of woo, pick you up in the morning. So it was, you know, I, I use so little of it every time so I could just carry on using it and it's now gone. So I'm going to have to wait until they either decide to make it as a permanent release or if they're waiting for it on the kitchen again. But, uh, so a few of the guys at work were looking at the new stuff at the kitchen and... Uh, my manager asked me if I wanted to get anything, and I saw I had a little look through, and unfortunately some of the stuff I wanted, like flying saucers, wasn't available, and some other stuff. Um, but there was one thing that I really liked um, the sound of, and I thought, I'll give that a go. Um, and it was this. Bright side body lotion. Now, if you don't go to Lush, or I'm sure if you're watching this, you, you do go to Lush. Bright Side is the bubble bar, which is like massive, massive thing. Bright orange and yellow swirly cake thing. Um, bubble bar. Just like the comforter, you know, you break it apart, crumble it in the water thing that smells beautiful. It smells like fresh tangerines and oranges. It's really uplifting. And if you didn't know this, Named after the Monty Python song, always look on the bright side of life. Hence the name Bright Side. Uh, which I always like to tell people, because it just, you know, always look on the bright side of life. <laughs> that song never fails to cheer me up, even if it's sung by a lot of people on crosses. So, um, I got this through the other day. Which is really nice. Uh, I'll read your description. It says, How to use. If life seems jolly rotten, and there's something you've forgotten, and that's to cover yourself head to toe in cheerable, cheerable, cheerful body lotion. Which I think is quite nice. That's the thing I really like about Lush. They like to kind of play around with their, uh, their descriptions and stuff. Don't get me started on that stuff that happened last year around Christmas about people getting offended by the... Uh, thing on the no fairy bottles that's <laughs> yes so what's inside this thing moisturizing almond oil and something fair trade organic cocoa butter comes together to soothe and condition skin mm. good to know 
Mandarin and tangerine oils are refreshing and rejuvenating for the skin. So, mm, so really will kind of pick your spirits and your body up. Uh, so what's in here? We've got aqua, water, uh, almond oil, fair trade cocoa butter, some glycerin, which is really moisturising. Uh, the mandarin oil, the tangerine oil, the bergamot oil. If you don't know bergamot, bergamot does literally smell like oranges. Um, it's very relaxing. So if you ever get any essential oils, you know, you put in oil burners, a bit of bergamot, and then roly. Beautiful. I put that in my kitchen when I can't come down. I'm cooking because it's stressed. It's nice. Um, da -da 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 -da. So yeah, that's all the main ingredients. Oh, for those of you who don't know, or who are just interested to know, the little stickers you get on the back of your pots, always peel them off because they have little messages underneath. And this one says, don't grumble, give a whistle. And always... So yes. And the, oh, another thing, uh, obviously it says it's from the kitchen because they get special little labels. And a nice thing I got, um, which I didn't realise I'd get, um, but this. Uh, it's a little picture of Aaron. He's even signed the back. And it's got a time and date stamp on here, which correlates to when this was made. So this is Aaron who made my bright side, which is quite nice. I like the fact that Lush put faces to what they make and they prove that it's like, not just a proof, but it's, you know that everything's been handmade by people. So it's always good. And he looks like a cheerful chap, doesn't he? Quite handsome. Aaron, you're very handsome. And we like you. Oh, I do like you. Let's chuck that there. So, um, the smell of this, oh, it's quite runny, but you do get that bergamot, orangey hit to start with. But when I first opened it, I was like, it's not that strong. I was really disappointed when I first smelled it. I was like, oh, I just wasted like 15 quid there, didn't I? Um, but it's not until you actually kind of pop it on that it actually really works well because oh, it feels really nice on. But as soon as your body warms it up, the essential oils in there start to get warm and you, oh, you do smell beautiful afterwards. <laughs> it, does, it is really uplifting. A nice summery smell for everyone. I'm sorry, I've got a bit, but I just waffled back an entire pack of Reese's Pieces and now I'm like, oh, they're repeating on me. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's lovely. It's lovely and light. It's not too oily because I know some of the um, moisturizers you can get from Lush it can be really oily um, that's due to the olive oil content and the cocoa butter in there and the shea butter but upping a lot of those butters makes it a little bit oily because a lot of Lush products are self-preserving now so it will make them a bit oily but this is very very light so it kind of it's yeah it's pretty much all gone now I mean sucked, sucked in not disappeared but Mm, you do smell really, really nice. Uh, so yeah, um, thoughts, really nice. Uh, would I buy this again? Yes, definitely. Would I recommend it to anybody else? 100%. Uh, from the guys at work who I've um, wrangled in to have a smell and to try some, uh, they all really liked it, even if they're not a massive fan of the Bright Side Bubble Bar. They really do like this so I'd say as a lushy this is really nice so if you get the chance and you really really like the orangey tangerine smells go for a bright side and brighten up your day oh my god I'm so cheesy uh so yeah yeah it's really nice uh so well thanks for tuning in guys I'm gonna go outside and rescue some stuff that's being blown around because I've got some art projects out there and yeah well until next time I'm hoping to do some Transformers reviews and possibly some more Lush reviews now depending on how well this one goes around 
uh, goes round, goes down. <laughs> so yes. Uh, so, from him and from me, it's goodbye. Goodbye, good luck, and farewell, so long, Alvida saying goodbye. God, that's a quote that only a few people are going to get.